Good morning. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am a Meta. How are you this morning? I'm doing pretty good. Amen. God is great. Had a good night's sleep, and I rise up to give God praise and glory and honor because He is the light of the world. I want to talk about that light. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank and praise you for this day. For this is the day that you have made. We thank you for the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. We thank you that you are a healer, a deliverer, a savior, a forgiving God, and we give you praise. We ask for forgiveness of sins, thought, word, or deed, or action, O oh God, of our own of our generation. God, we ask for forgiveness. We ask God that you would let your light not only shine on us, but shine in us and through us, touching those around us, and that they might feel your light. Jesus, you are the light of the world. As we read in, in Jesus' name, we give you praise. Amen. In John, it says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness and will have the light of life. Amen. How many are thankful for the light of life this morning? Amen. My voice to me sounds better, so I hope it sounds okay to you. I wanted to talk about this light, this light that shines in darkness. Amen. Some things that we go through, we don't realize um that it could happen to us and yet all of a sudden there it is and in that situation there is a light amen there is a light at the end of the tunnel amen because jesus said he would never leave us nor forsake us he would walk right through with us for he is the light of the world been a saying among us for years there is a light at the end of the tunnel and we say it and and sometimes we get to experience that amen through this past sickness there was a lot of darkness darkness in all kind of places darkness going through the CT scans and the ultra scans and all of that Amen. Couldn't see anything in it. Didn't understand it. It was a form of darkness. But all the time I felt like Jesus was with me, who is the light of the world. He says, I am the light of the world. And this morning I wanted to encourage you, whatever situation you might be in, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord, he is the light in that situation. You may not be able to see it, but it's there. My husband and I have been going through something. Amen. Something we never even thought of experiencing and didn't know anyone else that was experiencing. But God has been in our presence all the time. Even though we didn't feel the presence or see the presence, He is there because He said so. He is the light of the world by day and by night, by night, amen. Jesus is light and in him dwells no darkness. And if he is in us, then 
we have light in us. We are surrounded by the presence, no matter where we are. He is behind us, before us, and in us, to the right and to the left, hallelujah, above and beneath, amen. As I laid in those CT machines, I felt the presence of God. Even at night in the hospital, in the darkness, I felt like he was there. And so fear was not present because the light was there. Amen. It's the light of God that, that, that keeps us, protects us, and takes away the fear. God is awesome. He's a mighty God. He's the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. He's our joy. He is with us no matter what. Amen. And today, hallelujah, I can say that I know he is a risen Savior. We give God praise for sending Jesus Christ to us. Hallelujah. So that we could walk in this light. Now, how do we walk in this light? We walk in it by walking in his word. Amen. As we take that word into our um, being, into our mind into our mentality, into our emotion. Amen. We dwell in the light, in that light, in that precious light. Amen. I'm reading a book from my book club, and it is called Eat This Book. Funny title, but you know what? As we take on the Word of God, and we read it, and we ingest it into our life, we say the words that Paul said, um, I will hide your word in my heart that I will not sin against you. Amen. We eat that word. Hallelujah. And that's what the book is about. It's about telling us how to walk in the light by eating the word of God, taking it in and applying it to our lives. It's a form of eating. Amen. I met a sister at work who took three times during the day to read her word when she got there during the day and just before she left. She was eating the word of God. And that is how we began to walk in it. Amen. To walk in that light, that beautiful light, that light that comes from Jesus. For Jesus is the word, hallelujah, who became flesh and manifested among us that we might behold his glory. Hallelujah. That we might be able to see what he has done on the earth. Amen. How he is healed and delivered and set free, which is what God sent him to do. Amen. As you journey through the rest of this day, be encouraged that no matter what darkness you are feeling right now, inhale, hallelujah, and believe that Jesus is there because he promised never to leave you nor forsake you. Amen. That's what he promised, and he is faithful to his promises. Hallelujah. I give praise to uh, him for Bishop Shawwell. Amen. It's been a while since I've seen him, but he was on my mind. I give God praise for Pastor Al and Pastor Rogers. Amen. I give glory to God for what he's doing in my granddaughter, Rama with the word of God how he's leading her and directing her, how he's keeping her focused. Amen. How he is revealing to her what faith is, faith that is based on the word of God. We can't see it, but we believe it, and it becomes a substance. Amen. If I would get up in the morning and say, I am going to bake a cake, and I think I'll make it coconut, as I put those items in my mind, I can not only imagine them, but I can see them. And if I meditate on them long enough and let it get mixed with my emotions and my physical being, somebody's going to have a coconut cake. Amen. Amen. We're going to become what God called us to be because he spoke it into existence. The same one that spoke the moon and the sun and the star. Amen. Who called the fish into the sea, who called the birds into the air, who called the animals into the earth. That God is the same God 
that manifested Jesus in Mary for us. That is the good news of the gospel for us. So remember the good news as you journey through the day and be encouraged. Be encouraged that he is there. Jesus, the light of the world. Stay distancing. COVID is still out there. I am getting all kind of reports and prayer lists where people have contacted COVID. So be careful out there. Wear gloves when necessary. Um, stay distancing. Amen. Wear the mask when necessary. You still can breathe it. And seek God about this last COVID shot to see if you should get it. Amen. Be encouraged. Be encouraged in the word of God. And take that same encouragement and encourage somebody else. Amen. Your dirty washcloth can wash somebody else. Share your testimony of where God has brought you. Amen. I'm almost 99% cured, set free from the stroke. Pray for those who have the stroke. Amen. It is a darkness. Hallelujah. But God is in the midst of darkness. God, he is the light of the world. Walk in the light, the beautiful light. Walk where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. It shines all around you by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. God loves you and so do I. Be blessed.